Okay, so I've done a little bit of research for you guys. For those of you that like to buy indie patterns, PDF downloads, um, but don't like taping PDFs together, raise your hand, that would be me. Um, I buy PDF indie patterns because the big four in general, don't their sizing doesn't suit my body. So I have primarily indie patterns and I primarily buy the PDF version and download them. A lot of them, the printed versions are available directly from the pattern company, but a lot of those pattern companies are not based in the US. So getting them shipped and everything, it's like I might as well just buy the PDF and get them printed here in the US. So um, that's my general option. With StyleArk, I can buy the StyleArk printed patterns on Amazon and have them shipped to me. And every once in a while, I can find a sewing shop that has some of the other indie brands already printed and I can buy those, but that's not a common option for me. So my most used option is I buy the PDF version of the pattern, I downloaded it, <laughs> I download it to my computer, and then I send it off to get it printed and have it shipped back to me. So I've been using PDF plotting for many years because I didn't do the research, quite frankly. Um, that's the one that I had heard of, so that's the one that I was using. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share with you pricing, paper type, how it's shipped, um, how fast it's shipped, and things like that for a small handful of options that I have discovered. I've only used two of these so far, but based on my research, I think I've got somebody new that I wanna try out. So let's just start with PDF plotting because all of those printed patterns over there, every one of them is from PDF plotting. PDF plotting has gone through some changes over the years. When I first started using them, um, they were a little bit complicated because you had to know which PDF file, because you know you get, AO, you get copy shop, you get print at home, you get a lot of different PDF files. And you used to have to know what size paper you wanted it printed on, and they just had dimensions. So I didn't know, they didn't say AO or copy shop or any of that. So you had to figure out which one they were talking about. You had to know how many pages, um, and you had to know all that. Well, they've simplified the process so that all you have to do is upload your PDF and they automate which paper it goes on and all that. They've got that all figured out behind the scenes, which is awesome. Their pricing is really good. It's one of the lower ones. It's $2.45 a page um, for their 20 pound paper and it's $2.95 a page for their newsprint paper. And I've gotten both and I'll show you examples here in a second. Their shipping is $12.99 or less, depending on how much you get printed. And as far as speed goes, they're very fast. I usually get a print confirmation the day, if not the day after I place my order, and I get my order within a couple of days. They do ship rolled and in like cil cylinder containers, um, which is why what you just saw there is all of my patterns are rolled up and um, bound by a rubber band and put in baskets, unless I have already made it and then I've either traced it out or cut it out and put it in a manila folder. And all of those containers over there have things that I've either made or that I have done a rough cut because I thought I would make it soon. Um, and so they're either in there or in the basket. The other thing about PDF plotting, now I haven't gotten anything printed from them in a while, so maybe this has changed, but they cannot print layers. I had attempted at one point after they automated their printing, I had put in the comments to just print um, the two sizes that I wanted, and they wrote back and said they can't do that. So I don't know if they've changed, but at that point in time, and this was just last year, they were not able to print layers. And if you want color, 
they either can't do it or it's an upcharge. So there's that. But here, let me show you the examples of the 20 pound paper versus the newsprint. Okay, so this is one of my patterns printed on 20 pound paper. And as you can see, it's just regular. To me, it's just regular copy paper or printer paper. Um, it's, it's thicker than you generally like your sewing pattern paper to be, but it's what I'm used to because I've been using it for so long now. So it doesn't bother me, but honestly, if there's something available that's lighter, but not quite tissue paper, I would be open to that. So because of that, I did try their newsprint paper. So I got this on my last order and you can see it's just newspaper paper. It is much, it's a little bit thinner, not much. It's a little bit thinner um, than the uh, 20 pound paper. Um, and I guess it's more expensive for them because they pass that cost on to us. So rather than the 245 a page, for the 20 pound paper, it's $2.95 a page for the newspaper. Um, so in the comments of one of my videos recently, somebody had mentioned Brooklyn Motif Printing. And it is a, a female owned company based in Brooklyn here in the US. And so I decided to give them a try. Now, now they are more expensive. It is, but they, so they don't charge a per page fee. They have, it's, $5 for one page, $7.50 for two pages, $10 for three pages. So as you go up, it gets a little bit less expensive, but in general, even after three pages, it's still more expensive than PDF plotting. However, they ship folded and in bags. And if your PDF is in color, they print it in color. And the paper is definitely a thinner paper. It's not the 20 pound. So it's a little bit lighter um, and you can see they printed my pattern in color, which will make it easier when I'm ready to go and trace it out. I love the fact that it's folded. Um, so I'll have to, if I continue to order from companies that do folding instead of rolling, I'm going to have to figure out a new uh, storage system, but I do like the folding. Um, so each page comes folded separately. Whereas with the PDF plotting, it's all rolled up into one big roll. So you've got to separate them out and trace them or cut them or whatever. Um, so I do like the fact that the pages are separate and folded, but like I said, it is more expensive. So this one page cost me, uh, or this one pattern was three pages. It cost me $10 um, from Brooklyn Motif Printing. Whereas a three page pattern from PDF plotting would be $7.35. So um, when you're ordering, many patterns at one time, which is what I typically do, that adds up. The next company I wanna share with you um, is called Bolt Fabric Printing, and their price is only $2.50 a page. So they're right there with PDF plotting. However, they deliver folded, and they print in either black or white or color, whatever your PDF file comes over as. I didn't see anything about what type of paper, um, so I'll see if I can find some more information on that. If I can, then I'll put it on the screen. But that sounds like something worth investigating because I do like the fact that it comes folded and that they print in color if your PDF is in color. So Bolt Fabric Printing gets a thumbs up from me, at least theoretically. <laughs> All right, then we have Pattern Printing Company. Their price is $2.49 a page, so they're one cent less than Bolt, but uh, four cents more than PDF plotting um, for the 20 pound paper. However, they print on the 16 pound lightweight paper that is semi-translucent, which is lighter than the 20 pound, but a little bit heavier than the tissue paper that comes in a big four pattern. So that sounds interesting to me and they can print layers. So if you put in the comment section that you want size 16 and 18 printed, they will, they will take the layers from your PDF and just print the sizes that you want. Now I tend to not do that because I fluctuate in size. I really want to have all the sizes. And now that I'm getting more consistent at tracing my patterns, 
I would rather have all the sizes available, but if you're pretty steady Eddie in your size and your um, measurements and your, uh, your pattern sizing, then that sounds like something worth investigating. They also, I didn't, I didn't put whether they can print in black and white or color. So I'll have to look that up and I'll put it in the, um, I'll put it down here. And then the last company that I'm going to talk about in specifics is patternprinters.com. They are $2.45 a page, so they're right there with PDF plotting, but they can print layers. They print, they print black and white or colored, depending on your PDF. They have the lighter 16 pound translucent paper and they ship folded. So I feel like patternprinters.com is going to be my next try because they check all my boxes. They fold, it's the lighter paper, and it is the same price as PDF plotting. And if I chose to print layers, then they could do that. So those are the ones that, um, that I wanted to talk about. The reason that I X'd out all these other ones that I had investigated is because they're all anywhere from $4.75 to $5 a page. So even though they were probably the lighter paper, they ship folded, um, I just felt like they're double the price. So why would I choose those when I've got an option that does everything I want for only $2.45 a page? So um, I had found, I, I don't, I, I feel like I shouldn't even go through the names because um, I don't want to highlight that they're negative if they're somebody that you like to use because a lot of them are independent fabric shops that are local to different areas and they've bought a large format printer. So if you're local, that could be great. Even though they're a little bit more expensive, you could just send them your file and you can go and pick it up usually the same day. So that is a benefit if you are local to one of these shops. Um, what I would do is um, do a Google search for pattern printers, PDF pattern printers near me or put in your location. And if there is a local fabric shop that has bought one of these large format printers, that could be worth the extra money to you if you could go and pick it up the same day. Um, I will tell you that most of these companies, if they ship, they ship folded, but if they, if you're picking it up, they, they give it to you, uh, rolled up like mine were in the other room. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Do you buy PDF patterns? Are you one of those weirdos that likes to tape them together? Like I have plenty of weirdo friends, so I don't use that term derogatorily. <laughs> um, I don't get it. Like I have taped some PDFs together when they were small patterns and I was in a hurry to get it done or eager to get it done. But in general, that is not my jam. If it's yours, then more power to you. Um, but if it's not, then let me know your thoughts. Are there any other PDF printing services that you know of that beat this pdfprinter.com? Is that what it was called? I already forgot. No, patternprinters.com. Have you found any that beat all of those uh, attributes? Are they cheaper? Do they print on better paper? Let me know. Um, if you found this helpful, then give me a like. And if you like this kind of content, then consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next, I'll see you the next time. Bye.